What is Pet Parade? Well, a musical about people who love pets and the pets we love them back, hopefully. All these stories, complete little stories where you get to see inside people's lives and their homes and their relationships with their pets. It just expands on a universal love for having a pet be the heart of your home. So many people can relate. Either they've had the pet or they know the neurotic person who owns the pet. The joy, the frustrations, the love, the loss, everything that you can think of in life is in the show. My name is Andy Dodds and I am the lyricist for the musical Pet Puri. Hi, I'm Deborah Wicks Lapuma and I'm the composer for Pet Puri. Well, Andy Dodds, the wonderful lyricist that I work with, we wrote a couple songs and we did our first benefit production of it, which is three actors, very simple staging at Arena Stage in the old Vat Room. Everybody loved it. It's a guppy, honey! I said I wanted a puppy, not a guppy! I laid it on the line to Lola. We're going and that is that. I'm the man of the house, I told ya, and you are just a cat. We were hiking in the Rockies, which I have to say was hell. We were climbing up this mountain, Maxie almost slipped and fell. Spent Thanksgiving in Manhattan, Scooter almost caught a cat in Central Park. The response was, do more, make it, make it bigger, give us more songs. My name is Robert Mara, and I am the director of Pet Parade. As a director, you want to do pieces that challenge you, that excite you, music that moves you, that you know has the power to move audiences. One of the great things uh, about this particular show is five actors, two women, two men, and uh, one young girl. You don't have to cast for type cast for talent. We have all the music on tracks, so when we hire actors, they get all of their individual tracks to learn their songs on their own. Doesn't need a set. A couple chairs will do. We can pack this show up in a little trunk, take it with us. It's, it's magic. We make magic. This is a, an extremely marketable show for any theater. I think it would draw audiences in immediately. It can come across if you're producing us with four people on a piano, all in black, in a room that seats 20. It can come across if you want to have people making costume changes lighting different sections of the stage for an audience of, of 500 or 1,000 people. We're still adding songs. We're still working on more material to add to it. There are 20 numbers in the show, and we cover just about every pet there is. My favorite number in the show is the opening fugue. It sets the tone of the show. It lets the audience know they're going to have fun. Come give mommy kisses. Macho man, big fella. Tuffy boy, tuffy big boy. You. My pretty angel, come give mommy love. Little devil, you rascal. Silly willy cuddle cakes, you. Silly girl, silly boy. Silly girl, your mommy's sweet. And a brilliant way to open a wonderful show. His name is Gulliver. Gulliver is a great number about this couple who's just beginning to date and she gets in and finds out that he has a cat and she hates it and it turns into a passionate tango. Don't look her over me. Speaking Up for Fred is a really touching song that the young girl in the show sings and it's about her hamster who has unfortunately died. I didn't mean to do it. Rex is a song sung by the baritone in the show, and he is under direct orders by his fiance or wife to have the dog fixed. I don't have the heart to take his manhood and throw it away. She thinks I'm a jerk. I'm in the dog house. I did it for Rex. Neither of us is gonna have sex. In the end, he has no choice. This bird can sing. She can sing opera. She has learned to sing Puccini, Madame Butterfly, Bohem. 
That bird can sing. She's trying to get her bird to perform. When there's no one around, they'll do exactly what you want them to do. But of course, then when you bring them out to show to guests, will they do what you ask them to do? You know, and what you know they can do? No. So she sort of loses it a little bit. <laughs> the end product you get is a story being told with incredible lyrics that's been set by an incredible musician who understands what a singing actor is going through. The music's gorgeous. The characters are vivid. It's a very touching show, but it is hilarious at the same time. Pet Puri is an incredibly enjoyable evening of song, laughter, fun, and honestly, it is just a charming, charming, brilliant show.